now that we have a skill, all done, we've tested it, we're ready to publish. But before we publish it, we have to create an Amazon developer account. Now that sounds a little bit scary, but it's really not. That's just where your skills will reside once your account is created. So go to this URL, developer.amazon.com. You'll find the link below this video. Once here, we're gonna come up to the sign in button and right below it says create your Amazon developer account. We'll click on that and we'll fill out this information. You pause the video and do the same. After you put in your name, email, and you've chosen a safe password, you can click on create your Amazon developer account. As you can see, you have a little bit of information to fill out, so you need to make sure that you have your phone number, your address, banking information, social security, that kind of information, because obviously you wanna get paid and you'll need that information as you're filling out your developer account. This is pretty straightforward. You really can do it on your own, but I'm gonna give you some tips as to what I do. Now, make sure you fill everything out as accurate as possible. It's important to note that anything that you see over here that has a red asterisk is mandatory. The rest of it is not. But I'll tell you a few things that I do to make it look better. Now, obviously, I fill everything out with my name, email address, phone number. And right here where it says developer name, it's mandatory. You must put something there. But you can put your name right there if you want to. Or since I plan on building a whole lot, I'll just put some sort of a business name there. And I've just created one called Cool Skills. Now to help you to understand what that's for, let's come right over here to Amazon. Here's a few skills that have already been created. And as you can see, this is Bless Me created by Skillset. Here's another Bless Me created by Atlas Interactive Arts. This just kind of helps people to see who it's been created by. You could actually use your own name, but I just want it to look a little professional. Now, developer description, you can put anything in there. And I just put creating fun, entertaining Alexa skills for the entire family. And then the rest of it, you can put in your address, your phone number, and you can put in a customer support email. It could be just your regular email and support phone number if you want. Remember, this part is not mandatory, okay? And don't feel like you have to have a website. Then let's just save and continue. Then you're going to come over here to the agreement. At the agreement, you simply need to scroll all the way to the bottom. You can look at all this if you like, and then hit accept and continue. Now we're almost done. We're at the payments page, and if you plan on getting paid, which you should, then you need to put a tick right here for yes and a tick right here for yes, okay? And then you can scroll all the way down and fill in your banking information. So I'll go ahead and fill mine in, you do yours, and I'll see you in a moment. Now when you get to the account type, you can put in individual checking or business checking. Don't feel like you need to have a business account. You do not need to have a business account, okay? You can do it just with a regular account. Make sure to take time to put in the correct routing number and account number because that's where they're going to send your money. Once you have that information filled out, go ahead and hit save and continue. Now we're at the registration page where we need to fill out these two things right here. It's just tax interview. This is where you're gonna need to put in your social security number. And this first one here says royalty tax interview. This is in the event that Amazon pays you royalties, okay? And this is your service tax identity interview. And this is just where they're gonna gather your information. So let's go ahead and fill one out. Once here, it's gonna ask, are you a business or an individual? And I'm just an individual right here. And if you have a business, obviously you're gonna choose that. Once again, don't feel like you need to be a business to do any of this. Right here, of course, it's asking am I a US person? And for me, it's yes. Now I just need to fill out the rest of this information. Put in your social security number. And hit continue. Once you do, you do need to fill out the rest of this information right here, and you can simply type in your name. And this is a way to sign it. Now you can save and preview it, make sure that everything is correct right here. Once everything is correct, you can submit that form. Now it says right here, validated. So now they'll receive it, make sure it is correct. Now we can exit that interview. Okay, we've got one done, we need to do the next one. Once again, some of this information is the same. Once again, I'm an individual and I'm still from the US. I'll fill out my information again.
and hit continue. Once again, you'll have to come all the way to the bottom. You'll need to sign this by typing in your full name. Save and preview. You can make sure that everything is complete and then submit your form. It's going to validate your information and they've already validated mine and exit that interview. All right, fantastic. I'm now inside my Amazon developer account. And you can see it says there's my name. It's cool skills is my business and I can sign out. However, before we do, we're going to come right over here where it says Alexa skills kit because this is where you're going to see all of your skills once they're developed. We're now in what you could call the back end or the dashboard of where your Alexa skills will reside right here. So now I'm going to log out and I'm going to show you the quickest way to log back in so that all of these different options don't overwhelm you. So let me sign out. So if I were you, I would bookmark the URL developer.amazon.com. In a later video, I'll show you a shortcut to quickly log into your Amazon Alexa console.